guys welcome back to my channel and today's video is again my top products that I've been trying in the last I'm gonna say month and um, I've been trying to expand the products that we use at the salon mainly because I just don't want to be stuck in a box of always using Kerry Care and um, as I've told you guys before I might not have um, if you watch some of my salon videos, you'll know that I switched from L'Oreal to Schwarzkopf because I find it's the best fit for the salon. And I'm trying out their products at the moment and I will give you a review on why, what are some of my favourites. Probably my next video, my next sort of video like this. But I'm going to go through um, products that I've tried from the brand Design Essentials. I've worked with Design Essentials before, but more like in dribs and drabs. So I definitely know a lot more about their natural products than I do about anything else so this is more of the professional brand that I wanted to use in the salon to have more of a diversity of products so the first one um, that I've tried um, is the almond avocado moisturizing and detangling sulfate free shampoo for the naturals this stuff is amazing now I wanted to try something for the naturals because Kerricare doesn't have a an actual shampoo for natural hair. So I've been using the hydrating because hydrating is so softening and so detangling that I also wanted to try something else. So obviously when I was introduced and um, we bought Design Essentials, I wanted to try their natural products as well as their normal products for relaxed hair and chemically enhanced hair and also for natural hair. So this stuff literally detangles your hair as you shampoo it is amazing especially if you're taking your hair out of braids um, it has an amazing smell i just and i remember that i actually did use this at my last salon because we did get this sent to us to try and it definitely was a product that i really 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 loved it was actually my favorite product and i just found that as soon as it was applied to the hair it just literally all the knots kind of melted away and i don't know how it does it but it's definitely one of the better um one of the top three detangling shampoos, I would say, for natural, if not also relaxed hair. So definitely, definitely love this one. So the second product I'm going to talk about is that Almond Avocado Curling Cream, also by Design Essentials. And I just really like this cream. It kind of reminds me of um, the... Natural Textures Care Care Buttercream, which is my all-time favorite. It was one of my favorite products to use when I was natural. And I just find that it was an all-purpose cream. I could use it on day two. Um, I could use it for twist outs. I can use it for anything I really kind of wanted. And I really, really liked what it did to my hair. My hair always felt super, super soft without feeling um, quite weighty. And this does exactly the same thing. And the consistency is a little bit different and um, it's a lot more weightless than the buttercream is because compared to I would say that this is um, I don't know less heavy but even though I know that the buttercream wasn't heavy if you know what I mean it, it's kind of hard to um, I shouldn't even compare to be honest but I really really like this cream because I find that it's a multi-purpose cream I've been using it for twist stuff I've been using it for finger, co finger coils I've been using it just to do wash and goes and it's been working really really great as that sort of product and it's creamy but it's also weightless so um another shampoo that i quite like was the peppermint and aloe and this is for those that have itchy scalp now i'm always on the lookout for itchy scalp products because like i always told you guys i've got itchy scalp and even though i've got it under wraps and it's pretty much and maintained never hurts to know what else is out there i like to broaden my horizons and the peppermint and aloe anti-itch shampoo is a really really good shampoo one way that i like to use it is once i apply it to the hair i leave it on for about two minutes just to for that extra tingly feeling and i repeat the process twice for those that have extra flaky scalps and then i um follow it up with a most of the time I follow it up with a shampoo, with a conditioner on the scalp only um, for those that have itchy scalp. But if you don't and it's just sort of like a, you've been out in the sun too much and your scalp has gone flaky, then I kind of use this once and then I use a normal conditioner on the scalp and on the hair. 
but if it's for someone like myself who has a bit of an itchy scalp and actually has flakes then I will definitely um, use a shampoo then I will follow it up with uh, anti-itch conditioner on the scalp only and then I will use a normal conditioner on the rest of the hair. In terms of wrapping lotions we all know that I'm testing out different wrapping lotions. I've got my staples but it never hurts like I said to try new things and um, the design essentials compositions foam wrap lotions is one that I've been trying out on um, especially the shortcuts. It says it's for relaxed and natural hair but I haven't had the chance to try it out on natural hair yet and um, I will try to because literally I'm on the last drips and drops of it but for relaxed shortcuts i'm actually really loving it but like i um and i, I had this discussion with florence as well it kind of leaves the hair feeling super soft super super soft almost to the point that it's almost too soft um and that's if you overuse the product so a heavy a heavy hand doesn't really work with this product very well um, a light hand works dreams. I tend to like to use it on mostly the edges and literally use a little bit throughout the hair and then wrap it because it, it almost leaves almost like a film on the hair and you can almost, it feels like you can literally finish off the hair without any other product. That's how soft your hair feels. But at the same time, if you use too much, then it almost it actually doesn't almost it leaves your hair feeling almost too limp to curl the hair and for it to hold curls because it's almost like it's got too much product in it so that's definitely something i will watch out for an overuse of this product does leave the hair feeling really limp and unable to curl like you want it to and for it to have a good hold so that's something that i learned very quickly so um it's it's a really really good one um, and i love the smell it smells like bubble gum like really lovely just a bubble gum every time i put it on a client's head they're like mm, what is that it's really really lovely have i got any more yep yeah. so um the bamboo and silk hco leave-in conditioner is one that i've been spraying on clients that have finer medium to finer hair and who do not like a heavy finish I find that this spritz over the hair, blow dried, leaves the hair feeling really fluffy and voluminous and I really like the way it feels. It literally feels like I've put nothing into the hair and then I can continue with the rest of the styling product, whether it's conditioning cream hair dress or if I'm using um, the next product that I'm going to talk about, which is the Pea Sprout Cream Hair Dress and a little bit of that goes a long way as well. So um, this is actually also one of my favorites because i've been using for the longest time leaving um by Kerry care with a bit of silk and seal and that is quite weightless too but you know if you have a heavy hand again it can feel leave the hair feeling a bit limp but with this i don't think that you can actually do too much because the spritz spritzing it all over kind of controls what you do with the hair and what you do with the product sorry so definitely a winner and last but not least is the Nutriment RX Peace Sprout Cream Hairdress and this is a very 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 creamy product and um, I mean I would personally use this as a daily moisturiser I feel like apart from the light hairdress cream in the firm range and the conditioning cream hairdress there's not really a daily moisturizer that is creamy enough that lets your hair feel like you've got a lot of moisture in it in the care care range so i wanted to branch out to something different and i mean without those two there's apart from the oil moisturizer which is a little bit too liquidy um, I was looking for something a bit creamier but fluffy at the same time. This fits the bill and um, I don't always, I'm just reading to see if I miss anything, but I wouldn't necessarily use this if I'm always using heat because on the first day, let's say um, when I when I do my hair, I tend to use the conditioning cream hairdress because that has heat protectant in it and I feel like my hair sets in a certain way but if I wanted to upkeep my hair and upkeep the moisture and upkeep up the shape I would use something of this 
of um, like the piece about cream hairdress but obviously I use the light hairdress cream which I love because it, it gives my hair the shine it gives my hair the movement but it also leaves my hair feeling really really soft and I feel like that's that's what this does and it's a little bit more on the heavier side so a little does go a long way and exactly the same as I said with the wrapping mousse a lot of it can leave your hair feeling a little bit limp but overall definitely love the design essentials i feel like a lot of a lot of work has been put into the brand to make sure that um clients are happy with with it and their hair i feel like there's um it just felt it just left my hair feeling really great but also i've noticed that the clients that i have used um used them on brilliant really don't have anything bad to say about it it's definitely something that i will be implementing in the salon so you will be seeing design essentials as an addition to the family that we already have full of care care and also schwarzkopf so i like to use trusted brands and so far i find that everything that i've talked about i can stand by and i really like them for different reasons obviously like i said um it's always great to have variation and i'm finding that I'm, I'm starting to have products that I love for fine hair, products that I love for um, thicker hair, products that I love for um, hair, people that don't want to use any heat. Um, this is definitely one that I would recommend if you're not a heat person. I'm not a heat person. I only really use any heat on my hair when I'm washing and wrapping it. Apart from that, I just go YOLO with the cream. So I really, really like the brand, like I said, and I will see you on my next product video and I will talk to you about what I like and what I don't like about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.